car is freedom on wheels, and we have embraced it more than any other country on Earth. But have you ever begun to realize what its real impact is? Cars are complicated machines requiring natural resources and high technology to manufacture. Take a typical Ford, for example. The Expedition is assembled in Wayne, Michigan, the Edge in Ontario, Canada, and the Ford Fusion in Sonora, Mexico. But to see the real extent of the environmental footprint, we have to see where all the parts of a typical Ford come from. Consider the body. It is made from iron, steel, aluminum, and other metals. A wide range of synthetic plastics, fibers and foams, paints and coatings, glass and rubber. The materials we can't see include toxic solvents such as toluene, minerals such as nickel and sulfur, and the fuels for electricity and production also come from around the world. So we took apart a typical Ford to see where all the parts came from. The plastics come from Canada. The drive shaft, axle, and chassis comes from Toledo, Ohio. The brake, steering, and suspension systems come from Livonia, Michigan. The battery and interior systems come from Milwaukee, Wisconsin. And the aluminum wheels come from Van Nuys, California. The windshield comes from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. So far, parts from all over the United States and Canada, and we still have miles to go. And with a modern car made from thousands of components, its footprint is truly global. The seat belts and airbags come from Sweden. The zinc metals, chemicals, and catalysts come from Belgium. And the anti-lock braking, fuel injection systems, door and seat components all come from Germany. The tires are from South Korea. The stereo and wiring are from Japan and China. And there are aluminum parts from Thailand. And that's not taking into account all the raw materials like manganese, iron ore, and rubber. All before we've driven a single mile. But that's not the end of it, because in our lives, we don't just own one car. We each own an average of 12 cars in our lifetime, and the 200 million cars in the United States will be replaced roughly every 17 years. But it's when our cars are fueled that they really make an impact. Americans use a quarter of the world's oil, and it takes half of that to fuel all of our cars. That amounts to 10 and a half million barrels of oil every day. We each drive an average of 11,000 miles a year. That's 627,000 miles over a lifetime, or 25 times around the world. And on that journey, we'll use 31,350 gallons of gasoline, or enough to fill these three fuel tankers. It's difficult to imagine, but the invisible gas pumped out of the family car creates nearly six tons of carbon emissions a year. Over a driving lifetime, this adds up to 360 tons each. Imagine all the cars in your neighborhood and then in your town. Expand that to a big city and then the whole country and the traffic never stops day after day after day.